Everybody, this is Miss Bomi and I am finally back in the kitchen I know it's been a while since I did my last video so before I get started and let you know what I'm going to make this evening I just wanted to take a moment and say um, if you watched um, Eric's channel the e Bomi channel or the B&E brew review channel you know the reason why that um, I had been absent from YouTube for a while is because I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer and soon after that had to go ahead and uh, be in hospital to have surgery for it. So now I am home and still continuing the process of healing and recovering and screenings, you know, later on down the road to make sure that everything is good and it's all healthy and happy and whatnot and blah blah blah. So that's just to give you um, a quick update on what was going on which I'm sure most of you already know because quite a few of you watch Ebomi's channel or the B&E Brewery Review channel so um, that being said I just wanted to take a moment to say thanks very much to all my family and my friends for the support for the good wishes the gifts um, of flowers and cards and good thoughts and to my co-workers as well. Um, they did a fabulous job of giving me some gift cards and, and um, raising some money and helping me through this um, tough ordeal. So <clears throat> I just wanted to say thank you very much. Uh, I feel truly grateful that uh, I was fortunate enough to have people that actually care about me enough to um, show concern in one form or another so that's it that's enough about that jazz anyways tonight you can see I have an array of vegetables in front of me goodies yeah I will mention this though um, when I was coming home from uh, ho uh, being in the hospital, my niece was kind enough to come over and pre-cook some of meals ahead of time. And this was one of them. This is one that you can cook either right away or if you want to, you know, do everything and put it all together and put it in the freezer and save it for another night and then take it out and then uh, put it in the oven for cooking, you know, later on in the week, uh, that certainly is an option too. This is going to be um, chicken pot pie. You could substitute turkey if you'd like. And for those of you that are vegetarians, just disregard the meat. Because you got all the rest of the goodies going on here. Yes, but why would you do that? Well, some people are. Those are the goofy ones. Oh, I'll make sure to tell him to see that. Well, shit, no <laughs> doubt. <laughs> What does, having, what does being a vegetarian have to do with anything when it comes to her being a goofball? <laughs> you said it, not me. I'm not getting in trouble. Did that come out loud? Yeah. Oops. Oops. Anyways, so I went ahead and cooked up some turkey, or chicken rather, and then sliced that up. Uh, we've got some carrots, some peas, some potatoes, celery, onion, and fresh ground parsley. Not to mention an extra pair of hands. <laughs> and also some flour. And over yonder is chicken broth. I just didn't have enough room for this. I'm actually doubling the recipe because the first time that we made this and had it, it was like gone like that in 2.2 seconds. I mean, everybody woofed it down. So well, it was, was really good. There was three of us and it didn't even yeah. work out to be a full meal. No. Um, it says that it's one... 1.2 servings. The prep time is 40 minutes and the bake time is um, 40 minutes as well. Okay, so um, I'll list the ingredients below, down below, um, as to what you're going to need. And then um, if you want to double the recipe like I'm doing and making two, you most certainly can. So to get started, we're going to need a big old pan. And in that pan, we're going to saute the potatoes, carrots, onions, celery, butter, and oil until they are tender. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and turn this on high. I'm going to grab myself a stick of butter because like I just ruined out of room for stuff. And I'm going to use some of my olive oil that I got from DJ Alkali One. Thank you very much. I heard he's a real ladies man. <laughs> I'm not even going to touch that one. <laughs> really not going to go there. So I've never made this before, so you have to pardon me because I keep referring back to um, the recipe that my that my niece um, left for me because I did ask her to make sure and leave this for me because it was just so dang good. And I think for the olive oil, where is it? Um, olive oil, olive oil, where is it? Kitchen bitch, you made this before, not me. I was just a kitchen bitch then. Were you? <laughs> I thought it said olive oil on here. Carrots, onion, celery, and oil. Oh, I can't find it. How One tablespoon you, of... How can you ever go wrong with olive oil? Well, I just am going to have to guess on how much olive oil. It's two tablespoons, actually four tablespoons of butter and then some olive oil. Whoops, I dropped that. So I'm just going to take a guesstimate on how much. That is the Italian way. Oh, it is. Works for me. <clears throat> yeah, so um, Kitchen Bitch got roped into doing this, cooking this with my niece. <laughs> I wish I could have seen that, but unfortunately I was in the hospital recovering. <laughs> five and a half hours of cooking. Well, yeah, but look at all the dishes that you made. There was quite a few of them, you know? Put that in there too. Some pretty good stuff. Yeah, she did have some really good recipes and good ideas. And that's one of the things too, you know, when you get out there online and look at some of these recipes, it's stuff that you can really um, make ahead of time and freeze for later. say that this is a lot of prepping as you can see and the other ingredient that I don't have out here is some whipping cream and we're going to use that in the mixture as well with a little bit of garlic salt now the last time when she made it there wasn't very much salt and pepper so I'm gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper right here at the ground level just kind of get that started with Alright, got our butter melted. And as you'll notice, I have a new camera here for up top. Well, it's not mine, it's actually Ebomi's. Um, I bought it for him for Christmas. It's a GoPro. And um, I've heard nothing but really good things about the GoPro, so I'm kind of anxious to see how this video is going to turn out with all of that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and saute our potatoes. Um, we just tell them about the GoPro that you got for Christmas. A little spoiled one. Yeah. I think Chuck sent it to me. Chuck did not send it to you. No. Um, it calls for two medium potatoes, but we did four instead because, like I said, we're doubling the recipe. So, hopefully we can get... Is this four medium potatoes? Yeah. Wow. A lot of potatoes. An Irish thing. I'll say. You can't have enough potatoes. <laughs> well, that's something that you guys do like with your potatoes. You take your potatoes very seriously. Mm -hmm. Potatoes and alcohol. Yeah. I'll figure. Well, I'm hoping I'm going to have enough room in this. I kind of guesstimated on what kind of pan I should be using, but holy crap, what else? I think that's the pan we use for a single batch. Okay. I'm hoping it's going to work. The devil. So in go the potatoes. And then the carrots. Carrots, you're going to need um, three medium carrots cut into little slices. And I think we got a little bit more than that here. Probably double that. The 
Mm. Must be starting to smell good. Shall we get more excited? I'll give that a stir. And then get your chips out of there. And with along with the carrots goes in the onion and the celery. Um, this is one medium onion. If you happen to like a little bit more onion or want it a little bit more stronger, you know, use a little bit more. Excuse me. All right, down here, so now I got a little bit more room on the corner. trying to just get this all stirred up so that everything will absorb some of that butter and oil. And I'm going to turn this on probably medium heat just because I have so much of this in here. Don't you think? It looks good though, doesn't it already? Yeah, it's like the biggest container we have, so I don't know what else you could put it in. <laughs> Back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. I've been letting this cook for quite a few minutes just to get the potatoes tender. And I think we're just about at that point. So we can go ahead and continue on with the process here. And the next thing that we're gonna go ahead, <coughs> excuse me, the next thing that we're gonna go ahead and add to our mix is going to be our flour. Um, the recipe calls for six tablespoons of all-purpose flour, and of course, because I'm doubling it, it's going to be a little bit more. So you're going to want to put some in, a little bit at a time. Is that, <clears throat> excuse me, incorporated with all the vegetables you got going on. And then once we've got the flour in, then we're going to go ahead and add the chicken broth a little bit at a time. Now, the chicken broth, I believe, calls for three cups. Yeah, three cups. a nice idea to do this to cook it up ahead of time and you know put it in your freezer for later and use it like on later on in the week or, or you know cook it up bake it up in the oven right away start adding the chicken broth. You know, we've got kind of a pasty substance going on here, which I believe that was the, give it a good stir. <coughs> okay, ready? I'll add this a little bit at a time. We want some of it to cook off. So you like having the, I, um, I'm kind of anxious to see what people are going to think about the, the new camera up top, you know, that GoPro that you, nobody wants to see your nose hairs, honey, okay? I'm just saying. <laughs>
<laughs> then the next thing that we're gonna do is um d um yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> rewind <laughs> is put the remaining ingredients in chill <laughs> which is your meat your peas and your parsley oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh I'm sorry that I'm not like up to 110% full strength and that you have to put up with the kitchen bitch being here with me I'm sorry boys and girls I think we're not eating until midnight yeah, well, I told you we probably should have started this like three hours ago, but you know, what do I know? I just, you know, cook. Yeah. Just saying. Chuck is right. What? Yeah. What's Chuck right? You can talk to him about that. I don't want to talk about it. Stop trying to get him into trouble. You're always trying to get people into trouble. No. <laughs> right now. This could actually be a little bit thicker, but I'm not going to sweat it because I think once it gets into the oven and it starts cooking, things will meld together a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and add my frozen peas. And I don't know why they say frozen peas versus something out of a can. Maybe because it's just easier. You don't have to deal with draining all the juice. <coughs> that it would come in a can. Okay, so I've got those in there. Wait, use my chicken. Um, three chicken breasts would probably do it, but like I said, just because I'm doubling it, it's going to be a bit more than that for us. I'm just now going to reduce my heat and make that to medium. Wow, this is getting pretty darn full. You're going to have to make sure you have a good sized pot or pan to um, do this in. Might not be a bad idea to put it all in a pot. Just the same. All right, get this one mixed up. Make sure that the chicken gets coated really well with all of the other stuff that's going on in here. With the sauce. Creamy sauce. There we go. And Eric, if I can have you help me one more time. I'm just gonna go ahead and put some parsley in here. And you wanna just get everything stirred up and make sure that it's mixed all together very well. Who needs the pie part? Let's just grab a fork. I know, I was just thinking, my god, you could probably eat it just like that. This in itself probably would just make a really good meal. Just saying. It's kind of like stew. Yeah, it is almost like stew, isn't it? Stew's not a bad thing. I like doing the war or dishes like this um, that are nice and I bet you heavy, warm. Heffy would like stew in his mouth. For winter. Oh, we went on from Chuck to Heffy? Okay, I see how it's going to be. Heffy would like stew in his mouth. I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> uh, garlic powder, garlic salt. Are we out of garlic salt? No, it's over Where there. It? Over it's where? It's in the secret spot. In the secret spot? Mm -hmm. Where is this? The space rock? Yeah. There it is. And I'm going to put some garlic salt in here. And I think anytime that you do seasonings, you just do it to taste. 
you know, because I say, oh, a teaspoon of this or a tablespoon of that or whatever, but I'm doing it to taste, right? That's crazy talk. Come on, it's not crazy. I'll put a little bit more. Garlic is good for you. I need a beer. You always need a beer. And stop using my wine glasses for your beer review, okay? Those are beer glasses. Those are not beer glasses, those are wine glasses. You know, you need to learn the distinction if you're going to, you know, make sure to put beer into a beer glass and wine into a wine glass. Just saying. Hi, Shelves. Great. Like next, I'm going to get my tins ready. And uh, you want to make sure to get pie crusts, too, that are already made. These ones you just unroll into your tin. Apparently I got flour everywhere. Even on my own damn salt. Did you guys grease these? The bottom of them? No? Okay. Yeah, Alright, Critch, you bet you're gonna show me how it's done. Oh, it's well, do you have Is it really safe? Spoon into two ungreased nine inch pie plates. Roll up pastry to fit top. There you go. Okay, this is not my forte. Did um, Olivia show you a good trick on how to roll up a. Yeah, she said do it. <laughs> she just told you to do it. <laughs> oh, okay. and preheat your oven to 375 degrees. And then that's gonna cook in the oven for 40 minutes. Are you shitting me? Like my dad says, I won't shit you. You're my favorite turd. You know, this the gravy I think has just gotten to the right consistency here. And uh, while Kitchen Bitch is doing the other one, I'm gonna go ahead and start spooning some of this in. And I think probably it will work best. Let's see if I get a ladle. Did she make these? Put half of it in this one. <laughs> no, I said no, honey. This is. <laughs> no. I think we have more than for, enough more for the two pies, but that's okay because we can at least freeze the contents, and then if um, somewhere down the road we want to have a chicken pot pie again, all we have to do is just. Uh, on that. There we go. I don't want that too full, so it's probably an inch from the pie. There you go. And uh, you want to open up the other ones to get the make two more in here, which I'm sure is just going to be so disappointing and upsetting for my family being is that they love this. Bummer. Yeah, right? Oh, crap. There we go. Turn that off. Put that in there. 
Now say if you didn't want to put this straight away into the oven, I'm just going to take it off the burner so that it stops cooking. You could just now go ahead and finish this off and then uh, put it in the freezer like uh, you guys did when we first made it. It'll keep for about a month. Yep. Yeah, that's true. It will keep for about a month. And if you do decide to put it in the freezer, don't forget to mark the date on there too because If you don't do that, then you're wondering, what the heck? Do you think you're pinching off the edges okay? Oh, I'm really proud of you. She, sh she taught you how to do all this. This is amazing. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> gotta put a few slices in that. Yeah. this on the other side. We're going to put this in the oven for 40 minutes and then we'll come back and show you the finished product when it's done. Okay, I'm back and as you can see, the chicken pot pies are done. Move that a little bit closer. My other camera died. My battery died. Um, so there it is. The one thing that I forgot to mention is to make sure that you um, do a mixture of egg and uh, um, egg and cream. <laughs> wow, first day back trying to do a video and already I'm forgetting things. To uh, put it on top to make sure that you get this nice golden brown color. And I let this sit for just a couple of minutes after I took it out of the oven. out of here in one piece. It always ends up being disastrous. Yeah, I know what thing you're talking about. I was looking for that thing. But I couldn't find that thing. Where? Oh. It's going to be disastrous anyway. I know. It always is. I just grab a fork. Yeah. You would just grab a fork. That's what I recommend. I know, right? So kitchen bitches recommends just grab a fork and go for it. Half of it came off and half of it stayed in. I told you it's gonna be disastrous. It's really too hot, honestly, to be cutting it, but you get the idea. This is what it looks like when it's all said and done. Just saying. Too hot to be cut. Yeah. You get the idea. <clears throat> so anyways, that's it. It's my chicken pot pie. No, it's not mine, my niece's chicken pot pie recipe. Um, so that's it. Once again, I just want to tell everybody uh, thanks very much for um, all the good wishes. and Lots of awesome people. Um, cards, thoughts, prayers, etc. 2014 Cadillac. Yeah. No, I didn't get 2014 Cadillac. So basically that's it. So um, I'm not sure when I'm going to end up doing my next cooking video. It might be a while because this is a bit much. So there you have it. My chicken pot pie. Um, give it a try. See what you think. I'll uh, See you again in the kitchen sometime soon, hopefully. Until then, this is Miss Bomi saying good night, good eats, wherever you are. <laughs>